Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in your Fortnite video and today's video I want to show you guys the best binds to use if you guys play with paddle or a scuff controller So I'm gonna show you guys the best binds to use if you play on two paddles or if you guys play on four I'm gonna show you guys all the best binds to use because most people either play on two or four Some of you guys may use one But I'm gonna show you guys some really good binds to use if you play on two binds or if you play on four So if you are looking for some new binds definitely stay to the end of the video and real quick, before I get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I give away 2,000 V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys would like to participate in the next giveaway and win some free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload and when I announce the winners every Friday. And lastly, make sure you guys put down your Xbox Gamer Tag, your PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account down in the comment section below. And you guys will be automatically entered into the giveaway and lastly if you guys like to support me in the item shop all you guys have to do go down to the bottom right hit on support a creator type in my creator code which is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop and all right guys let's go right to the video all right so in this video like i said i want to show you guys the best binds to use if you guys play on two paddles or if you guys play on four i want to show you guys the best binds to use and to try out so jumping right into the binds that I have, this is for two paddles. So if you guys play with two paddles, these are going to be the binds that are the very best and the binds that you guys definitely want to use. So as far as my D-pad, I have the inventory on up. I have my marker on my left D-pad. My right D-pad and my bottom D-pad are unbound. You guys can put your emotes or whatever, maybe your like squad comms or whatever you guys like to put on those. For me, I just have my emote on my keyboard because for whatever reason, if I use my left D-pad and my right D-pad, the bottom D-pad like sometimes activates and it's kind of weird. So I just have, or I don't use my emotes almost ever for like any reason. So that's why I have it unbound, but you can put your emotes on like bottom D-pad or whatever feels comfortable. And for the left stick, I have my edit bind because you want to have a bind that's really comfortable when it comes to editing and something that's very accessible. So you either want to have it on a paddle or on left stick. And I chose left stick to be the best option. So that's why I have it on there. And I think most of you guys probably already play on left stick, so you really don't have to make any adjustments there. So for the pickaxe, that's going to be on Y. My reload is going to be X. And my switch mode is going to be B, which you want to have on the right paddle. So your right paddle is going to be switch mode. And then your left paddle is going to be the jump button. So you have A on your, your left side. And then your B switch mode is on your right side. And then you have the crouch slash repair. Just make sure when you're choosing your binds, you have the slash repair one because they have a crouch and a crouch slash repair. And if you don't have that one, then you're not going to be able to like repair your structures. So make sure you guys have that one on. So basically for the two paddle setup, you're having a jump button on your bottom left side, and then you're also having your switch mode on your bottom right. I find this to be very useful for a lot of reasons because the benefit of paddles is you don't have to take your fingers off of the analog sticks much, which is going to make you a lot faster and aim much better. And I think if you have your edit on left stick, you have your jump on the left paddle, your switch mode on the right paddle, really the only time you have to take your finger off the right analog stick is either you're pulling out your pickaxe or you're going for a reload. So I found it to be very convenient. I think these settings are very great to have if you have two paddles. And then the build controls, I have my trap uh, place. Uh, trap place picker slash interact whatever it's called is going to be on the right d-pad you can also have it on x whatever feels most comfortable so if you'd rather have that on x that would also be a good bind as well but you can put on your d-pad like i said whatever feels comfortable my change material slash trap is going to be the bottom d-pad those are the only two changes that you would make here on, on the build controls everything else is going to be exactly the same and in going into my edit controls, I have my confirm as left trigger, and then I have my reset button as the right stick down. I've used these edit confirm or edit controls for the longest time, definitely probably at least like two years. I've had these binds. I used to have confirm on like one of my paddles, but ever since they put confirm on release in the game, 
I've just had my confirm on left trigger and it has worked wonders. It's really comfortable. It's convenient. Your finger pretty much always rest on the left trigger because you're always going to be like, you know, aiming down your sights or placing your, your ramps. So confirming is very easy, accessible, and the reset button being right stick, you either want to have your reset as right bumper or right stick because the thing is when you're choosing your binds to be very comfortable for you, you don't want to have too many actions or too many binds on the same side. So you don't want to have, say, your jump button, your edit button, and your pickaxe on the right side. You kind of want to space it out. You want to have some on your left and then some on your right. So that's why you have jump on your left paddle because the reason why you have jump on your left paddle, as I mentioned earlier, is because when you go to aim, it gets kind of awkward and a little bit tricky if you try to press your right paddle and aim at the same time. It gets a little weird when you're trying to jump or edit. So that's why you want to have it on your left paddle. You don't want to have too many of the same, uh, you know, same controls that you would normally use on the same side otherwise it gets a little bit awkward and if you space them out properly you're going to have really comfortable binds that's why i recommend recommend the binds that i have for two paddles if you have to have two paddles definitely give those binds a try and let me know i think they're really great and the next thing i want to show you guys is the binds when it comes to four paddles and the binds that i'm currently using and why i think these are the best binds to use in the game so jumping into the binds that I'd recommend for four paddles and also the binds that I currently use, I have my toggle pickaxe as left on the D-pad, my edit button on the right of the D-pad, and you know my switch mode as left stick. And so the pickaxe is bound to the left on the D-pad, but it is my upper left paddle. So my upper left paddle I have as my toggle pickaxe. And then for the right on the D-pad, I have my edit button, which is bound to my upper right paddle. So upper left is my pickaxe, and my upper right one is going to be my edit one. And then I have switch mode as left stick. My place marker is going to be Y reload as X. B is unbound, which I'll get into in just a second. My A is my jump button. And then my crouch slash repair, that is going to be how... I crouch and repair my structures. So the bottom left paddle is going to be the jump button and then the bottom right paddle is going to be how I'm placing say my traps or my bounce pads. So which you'll you'll be able to bind that in the build controls. So those are the four paddles that I have. So my upper left one is pickaxe, my bottom left one is my jump button, my upper right one is going to be my edit button and then my bottom right one is going to be how I place my traps and my bounce pads. So that's the setup that I have as far as the paddles. I find this to be the most comfortable binds I have ever used. I'm able to play for a really long time and my fingers don't like hurt like they used to. I used to have a little, I think I think I used to have a little bit different setup as far as my, my paddles. I used to have my my switch mode on my bottom right paddle and then my edit on my upper right and it kind of hurt my fingers a little bit because I had to constantly press like the up and bottom paddle and it, it just got kind of annoying so I ended up moving my switch mode over to left stick and the only time I use my bottom right paddle is when I'm place, placing my bounce pads. I found this to be very comfortable and I, I'm able to play for hours and my fingers feel just fine so that's why I like these settings a lot because they're really comfortable, they're easy to use and they're just great binds overall. And then the uh, the trap picker place slash interact, that is going to be bound to B, which like I said, is how you place your bounce pads, which is the bottom right paddle. Everything else in here is going to be the same, except for the bottom right D-pad is how you change your materials. Edit controls, exact same thing. You want to have left trigger as your confirm, and then your reset as right stick. You can also have your reset as right bumper if you prefer that as well. But those are going to be all of the binds that I currently have on my controller and that I'd recommend for you guys to use if you play with four paddles. So definitely let me know what you guys think of these binds. If you guys like them, if you guys would make any changes, I find these to be some of the best binds to use in the game. Some binds that I use myself and that I just would recommend. And honestly, I don't have any plans on changing my binds anytime soon because these binds have been really comfortable. I've had no issues with them. There's not really any movements that I find to be like awkward or anything like that. The only time I have to take my finger off of the right analog stick is when I'm reloading and maybe if I'm placing a marker, but as far as controls, you know, pickaxe is on my paddle, 
my my edit button on my paddle, my switch modes on my left stick. I mean, I don't have to take my finger off of the analog sticks almost ever. So I find these binds to be really optimal and very good to use if you play with four paddles. But with that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys could, make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Hit the notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload. And I do live stream every day on this channel at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if you hit that notification bell, you guys will get notified when I go live on this channel. But with that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.